These images are becoming all too familiar. African migrants desperately trying to make their way to Europe in hopes of safety. Hundreds of them have been pulled from the Mediterranean in recent weeks and the UN confirming that dozens more have died trying to make the journey. A baby's cry bringing the migrant crisis into clear focus. The Libyan Coast Guard says 140 were rescued from a sinking dinghy this morning and taken to Tripoli for medical treatment. Another 250 were saved in separate rescue missions over the weekend. The bodies of at least two women were recovered at the same time. Meanwhile, Italian Coast Guard officials carry eight body bags off a rescue ship. The UN says 64 migrants likely died in a dinghy on Sunday after paying smugglers to take them to Italy. The crisis is expected to worsen as hundreds of thousands of migrants remain trapped in Libya, fleeing war and poverty at home. More than 30 crew members are still missing tonight, a day after an Iranian oil tanker collided with another ship in the East China Sea. Thick, toxic smoke continues to hamper rescue efforts about 250 kilometers off of Shanghai. Meanwhile, there are fears of a possible environmental disaster as the ship continues to burn and leak oil. The vessel was carrying just under a million barrels of crude from Iran to South Korea. The cause of the collision is still unknown. Two people were injured after a small electrical fire broke out of the Trump Tower in Manhattan. A firefighter had to be sent to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries while a building worker was treated at the scene. The blaze started at about 7 this morning in a cooling unit on the roof of the 68-story building. It took crews about an hour to get the flames under control. President Trump was in Washington at the time of the fire, but the tower was his home until his inauguration last year.